Religion plays an important part in many drug-taking activities. Even legal drugs like alcohol have been imbued with religious significance. In the act of communion, wine is used as a symbol of Christ's blood. And in the Bible, it often appears as an embodiment of holiness. When he wasn't building arcs, Noah cultivated a vineyard. It's a tradition monks practice to this day. Buckfast tonic wine, made by the Benedictine monks at Buckfast Abbey in Devon in England, but turned into a cult drink here on the waste grounds of the east end of Glasgow by the old dudes, the Buckfast heads. What's the use of getting sober when you're gonna get drunk again? How much of that you get through a day then? I spend all my money on drink. I don't smoke, don't gamble. Just baby, eh? Just drink. That's how I'm in that place. Yeah. And has it be, always been popular, the tonic wine in Glasgow, eh? Oh, a lot of people drink wine. The sooner drink the wine, the whiskey, a lot of people, you know? Yeah. It's easier to take, you know what I'm talking about? Hi. About half past four. Felt so good, but went out and got me some more. The street slogan for tonic wine, made by monks, drunk by drunks. In Scotland, football has bequeathed wine with a very different religious status. So, so why do you drink that as opposed to, say, another bottle of drink? You usually drink bulk fast. Yeah. You don't sell it in there. So you'd rather have that tonic wine than, than, than bulk fast? Yeah. Uh, we drink bulk fast. Yeah. Where's John Brown? Back me up here. It's a deprived area and it's the cheapest wine. <laughs> so once you get a taste of it, it hangs in there. <laughs> and do Celtic supporters drink it more than the other teams or no, not? We, no. They sometimes they think it's altar wine, so they'll not touch it the other side. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a must before the game. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like, like you've got to have it. Mm. You know, it's like, stuff. Yeah. Definitely. You know, you, can't go down to the, the, the main thing. I don't know if you've like been told about this, but it's like you can't go down to the last half inch because that's the toenails. Because all the monks have been fucking, you know, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, my, my father likes a wee tipple. In fact, we call him Buckaroo. <laughs> <laughs>